guys, welcome to my channel and welcome to today's video where I'm going to be trying out a bunch of new stuff from Colourpop. I got brow wax, I got mascara, I got eyeshadow, I got color sticks, I got a lot. So if you're interested in seeing how those things work out for me, just go ahead and keep watching. So first of all, these flowers are held in my hair with a screw. So if you see a little Phillips head in there, look past it. We're not even going to talk about it. The blue moment was just too much to pass up and apparently... I don't own a single bobby pin, but I own plenty of screws, and you gotta do what you gotta do. And you gotta screw what you gotta screw. Moving on. <laughs> so first, I'm just gonna go over everything that I got. The first thing I have is the Rumor Has It 5-Pan Palette. And this is what it looks like. Am I the only one who thought these were bigger? The pans on this thing are tiny. I also picked up the Creamsicle 4-Pan Palette. And this is what this one looks like. Same sort of packaging. This one looks absolutely beautiful. But I'm going to be using the blue one today. Obviously. I'm going to save this one for another video. I'm going to do like an eyeshadow 101. So stay tuned for that. I also picked up the Feather Effect Brow Wax. I'm really excited about this one because they're Brow Boss Gel. I'm sorry, Colourpop, but that thing is garbage. So hopefully this one will work out better for me. So I got the clear one. And this is what that one looks like. And I got the set that came with the spoolie. So there's that. I also picked up two of the new Act Natural Mascaras. I did get the brown one and the black one because it came in a set and it was a better value and I don't own a single brown mascara so why not try them both out and save a couple dollars. So the packaging on these is exactly the same. The writing is in brown so there's no differentiation between the black and the brown, just the name on the bottom. So I also picked up two of the new color sticks. These are tiny too. I don't know why I thought these would be bigger. I grabbed the shades Hummingbird and We're Off. This one is more of like a minty green matte and this one is kind of like a turquoise metallic. And the last thing I got... I got the bubblegum lip scrub from the Lizzie McGuire collection because I'm weak and I had to taste it. So this is what this looks like. Packaging is adorable pink. It's got Cartoon Lizzie on the top. I've already tried it. I couldn't help myself. So the first thing I'm going to use is actually the lip scrub. I've already tried it, but we're just going to be disappointed together because it's not that bubble gummy. It's really not. Don't eat your lip products. Um, it's okay. I consider myself a uh, connoisseur, if you would, of bubblegum flavor, and it's just not it. I had such high expectations for this, and it's okay. I used to have a cake decorating business and the bubblegum flavor I used for my bubblegum buttercream was it. So if this didn't live up to that, it just doesn't do it for me. So as far as the lip scrub, I mean it's a lip scrub, it's sugar and oil. It feels nice on the lips. It did what it had to do, it just didn't hit the flavor mark for me. So moving on, I'm going to put some eyebrows on this face because I look like a lunatic with a full base of makeup and no eyebrows. So I'm going to try out the brow wax with the NYX Lift and Snatch little eyebrow brush ink thingy because I've tried this a few times and I'm not in love with it so I think if I'm able to actually get the feathered brow this might work out better. So I'm pretty sure you're supposed to spray this. Instructions are unclear, but from what I've seen, I think you're supposed to spray it. This is just, this is just water in a setting spray bottle because I'm cheap. So I'm going to spray a little bit, a lot, I don't know. 
and run the spoolie through it. I don't know how much I'm supposed to pick up. And then just brush my brows up, I guess. I can't even tell if there's anything on it. Okay, there's a lot on there now, so let's see. I mean, they're standing up. Should I have zoomed you in? I should probably have zoomed you in. If it actually keeps them this way, I can already hear my sisters making fun of me for my eyebrows standing straight up. I'm just gonna uh, <laughs> lay them down a little bit. Okay, that's not bad. It definitely did what it was supposed to do. Wow, I might not even need to fill my eyebrows in. This might be a winner. Oh, I can feel it. I feel like I just ran Elmer's glue through my eyebrow. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and do the other one. Okay, this is nice. I like this a lot. I'm definitely gonna be using this all the time. Let's hope they actually stay this way. So now I'm just gonna go ahead with the NYX marker thingy and fill in any sparse areas. Okay, so these are the eyebrows done. It's definitely gonna take some getting used to. I've just done my eyebrows so defined for so many years that it's very weird to see this feathery kind of eyebrow on my face, but I do like it. This combination works really well together. So now I'm gonna move on to eyes. I'm definitely gonna be using the blue palette, but I also wanted to incorporate the color sticks, I thought they'd go pretty well together. So let me go ahead and swatch it. Ooh, that's nice. Swatch the palette out. So here is the palette swatched out. If you watch Amanda from Makeup Just For Fun's video swatching all of these, she did say the mattes and the blue one were kind of the least impressive. Um, it's not the most pigmented palette I've ever seen from ColourPop, but it's okay, this blue shimmer is really pretty. It's kind of like a indigo blue purple color. So I have no idea what I'm doing, but I'm just gonna go in. I don't really wear blue eyeshadow and you can definitely expect some staining from this eyeshadow. Also probably gonna stain all my brushes. Let me just go ahead and swatch the color sticks while I'm at it. So this one is Hummingbird. Okay, it's a little more green than I was expecting. That is really pretty though. And this one is the shade We're Off. Well, that one's very creamy. So I might just start with the matte color stick. I'm just gonna blend it out with my finger, I guess. Now, these did claim to be crease-free. I mentioned in my new makeup release video that I would be interested to see just how crease-free these are. I do have oily lids. So, if they're gonna crease, they're gonna crease on me, that's for sure. It is blending out really nicely. I had a concealer down as a base and it doesn't look like it's picking any of the concealer up. So I guess I'm just gonna kinda use that as a base. I wonder if that blends out with a brush. I'm just gonna use a big fluffy brush, see if I can blend that at all. Um, 
feel like it got a little patchy when I use the brush. So you might just want to lay that down with your finger. Let me see if I can add the color back where it disappeared. Okay, so this is definitely going to be a product that you have to finesse. You're going to have to learn what works better on your particular eyelids. What works with the way you like to apply makeup. Is it going to blend out with a brush? If you absolutely do not use your fingers for makeup, I know a lot of people are really opposed to that. I am not one of them, but I don't love how it blended out with a brush. That could just be me. I've never used this formula before. It does blend out okay with your finger though. I'm not getting that patchiness when I just use my finger. So I'm gonna take that same brush and go in with this shade on the ends and just kind of use that to intensify the color. It's actually like a pretty dead on color match for the color stick. The shadow does seem to be grabbing on where I have that color stick down as a base. I do feel like it's making it harder to blend. Uh, I probably wouldn't go in with the color stick as a base. So now I'm gonna go in with a smaller brush and this second deeper blue matte. And just start to deepen up the outer corner. I'm gonna try to pack it on more than blend it. Blue is a harder color to work with, and I am by no means an expert with the color blue, so... I'm not gonna hold this against the eyeshadow. I would pick the blue one and make myself go completely out of my comfort zone. Again, I'm not gonna over blend this because chances are you don't have a blue undertone. So, it's not going to blend very seamlessly into your skin. I guess we're going for a very dramatic look today. <laughs> Whether I like it or not. Um, I'm committed. It's too late. And I am going to bring that blue down to my lower lash line as well and connect it to the really exaggerated line that I've given myself on my lid. Well, this escalated quickly. And I'm gonna take the lighter blue matte and put that on the inner part of my lower lash line. I'm actually going to go in with the color stick to see if it'll help that blue matte kind of stand out a little more because I need to stand out a little more. I don't know how we got here, but I don't hate it. I'm scared, but I don't hate it. <laughs> So I'm gonna go in with the lighter blue shimmer and I'm just gonna use my finger and put this on the inner part of the lid. That is a very pretty color. I feel like these shimmers are definitely a little more densely pressed. They're not as creamy as ColourPop shimmers that I'm used to. It is very pretty nonetheless though. I'm gonna put that on my lower lash line as well. And then I'm gonna go in with the darker blue shimmer and put that on the outer corner. And again, run it on the lower lash line to 
mirror the lid. And I'm gonna go in with the darkest blue matte just for the sake of using every shade in the palette and just deepen up the very outer crease just a little bit. I don't know what happened. I don't know how we got here. Um, I'm gonna go in with the Shadow Stick in the shade Hummingbird. I'm gonna use this as a liner. Cause why the hell not at this point? That's really pretty actually. So here we are. Um, there's no inner corner highlights, so I'm going to find something and just throw it in my inner corners. So choices were made. I feel like a tropical bird. I really hope that I can build this mascara up because I am going to need some lashes to ground this look. And I am going to go in with the black mascara because I want them to be as bold as possible. So straight away, I like this wand better than the wand on their other mascara. I'm not a fan of hourglass shaped wands. So this is about one coat of the mascara. It's definitely a more natural mascara, obviously the act natural, but um, I'm gonna see if I can build this up as much as possible because natural is just not what I'm going for today. So I'm gonna throw a few more coats of this on and see how much I can build this up. Okay, so I am back with the finished look and baby, it's a look. Whether you think it's a good one or a bad one, I didn't ask you. So I'm just gonna go over everything really quickly. Um, I did manage to build up the mascara pretty well for it to be a natural mascara, but at the end of the day, it's supposed to give you a natural look. So it's not the most volumizing, but it is very lengthening. So I do like the mascara. Um, the eyebrows are still where I put them. They're holding up pretty well, so I really like the eyebrow wax. That's definitely something I'm gonna keep using. The eyeshadow. I feel like a tropical bird. What can I say? Um, the pigment is there. The shimmers are really pretty. Uh, the shimmers are not the most impactful shimmers I've ever seen from ColourPop. They're not the most sparkly or metallic but they are still pretty um the colors blended out really well i did have that color stick underneath so it could have definitely affected how that first shade i put down blended but the pigment is there it looks nice like i said i'm not an expert in blue eyeshadow so if it's not the most blended or a little bit patchy, it could very well be me. I'm not used to working with blue. I can promise you I've never done anything like this before, but it's pretty. It's definitely a look. Um, the color stick did not, in fact, stick to my waterline. Uh, I did manage to stab myself on the eyeball with the mascara wand, so my eyes did water a lot but I went over my waterline probably like seven or eight times with that color stick and it just did not go back on at all. In fact, it actually lifted the color that was still staying on. So maybe not for the waterline if you have watery eyes, but it is still kind of there. Like it's creamy enough that it actually kind of stuck to my lashes so I can still see it enough it just didn't stick very well in the actual waterline. My eyes are actually a little itchy. But overall, I do really like everything I tried out. The brow wax was definitely the hands down winner for me. I love the mascara. The eyeshadow was nice. Maybe not my color scheme. Probably not the best eyeshadow I've ever tried from ColourPop. Uh, maybe the formula is a little bit different in these, but Overall, I like how this looked. It's a choice. I'm going to Hawaii in like three weeks, so 
it's a moment. It's a whole moment. It's a whole tropical bird moment. So glad I went with the flower today because it worked out. So that was it for this video. If you liked what you saw here today, I hope you would consider liking, subscribing, and coming back for some more content. Bye.